So sometimes I can be really neurotic. I think I feel a lump. What if it's a tumor? What if... Nope, just an almond. Looking in the mirror, weighing myself on the scale, and sometimes just squeezing my belly are some of the things I do to check my progress for what I'm doing. And quite frankly, it drives me nuts. There are times when I think the only way to measure progress is how I think I look in the mirror. And that's what most people care about, right? I think I'm getting really fat. And when I don't see the results that I expect to see the next day, sometimes I feel like I should just go back to sitting on the couch and watch Netflix. Get your hair in the uh, house. It's never been like this. Um, Spoiler alert. I still do that. So I've come to find out that using the mirror is actually one of the worst ways to find out if my body is making any positive changes. Because when I really think about it, the mirror doesn't actually tell me what's going on with my body. Sure, I can jump on a scale and get a number, but the mirror and the scale only tell a little bit of the story. Because is my weight gain fat? Is it muscle? Is it water weight? What the hell is it? One of my fitness friends, Dick Talens, who specializes in transformations, wrote a really great article on how not to trust the scale. I'll link the article in the description below, definitely give it a read, but it basically goes over how using the scale incorrectly can lead someone towards being discouraged or giving people the wrong information about what's really going on with their body. But it also talks about if used correctly and with other measurements of progress, then it can provide a lot of, a lot of useful information. Like for example, I was using the scale to kind of gauge my food intake. Like if it was going down week to week, then obviously I wasn't eating enough. And if it stayed the same, then I can bump up calories a little bit. If my weight kept going up week to week, that means I'm eating too much. So in addition to the scale, I also use Measuring tape and taking measurements around my waist, chest, biceps, thighs. Use a caliper and take body fat measurements. I keep a workout journal and write strength numbers. Check energy and mood. Yep, I'm alive. And some of you might laugh at this, but actually taking selfies every six weeks or so really is helpful in monitoring progress and actually seeing changes in the body. So going back to how I figured out whether the number of calories was helping me gain weight really steadily and slowly enough that I'm not gaining fat so rapidly, I basically ate a consistent number of calories every week and then tracked my progress using several measurements of progress. So I watched the scale, I checked my body fat, and I checked waist measurements. And these changes usually don't come about until two to three weeks afterwards. It was really crucial to keep things consistent. My food intake, the measurements I used, the time of day I took these measurements, just to know what I needed to change. This took a lot of patience and experimentation and obviously took a lot of time on my part to finally get a calorie sweet spot I was happy with. Yeah! I'm honestly still not sure, but I feel like that's kind of the point of things, to measure progress and adjust. Doing that, I feel, keeps things in perspective and makes the whole bigger picture more clear. Strength numbers going up in the gym, mood improvements, sleep improvements, energy improvements. These are all things that people don't really think about, but progress is progress. Speaking of progress, here's my first progress photo since I took my first before picture. I don't expect huge changes in only six weeks, but you can see that my backside has developed a little bit more, which makes sense because of my shoulders and the back phases of my program. And I have to remind myself that great bodies take months and years to make, so I'll eventually get there. So be sure to use different ways to measure progress and find out what's working for you, but also to just find small wins because that's what helps a process like getting healthier, getting fit, a lifelong journey just more easy to manage when, you know, you feel good about it. You are a strong, capable flower. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for weekly videos on how my updates are going. Until I see you again, I hope you're measuring progress and you're doing well.